So for, for this lesson, we're going to go ahead and graph using the t-table. Uh, the t-table is a good way to know how to graph everything, but it's also great because if we're, on a if we're taking a test or we're doing our homework and we get stuck on graphing a line, uh, we can always resort back to the t-table. Now, the main thing though is you want y to be isolated. You want it to be by itself first before you do anything else. It just makes everything a lot easier. Um, and then when we're graphing a line, I always choose three points and I always tell my students, always go with these three points and you can't go wrong with it. Uh, this is only when we're graphing a line. I choose 0, 1, and 2. Sometimes your teachers only need for you to do two points, in that case just do 0 and 1. Uh, for this video lesson, I'm going to go ahead and do three. I like to tell my students to use three points. So what I do first is I'm going to go ahead and plug 0 into my equation. So I'll do y is equal to negative 3. I'm going to pull out this x right here, and instead of the x, I'm going to put open parentheses. And then I'll do minus 2. So I bring everything down. The only difference is I pulled out my x right here, and I just put an open set of parentheses. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a 0 in here. So that 0 is just represented as this 0 right here that I'm plugging in for x. Now I'll say y equals, okay, y equals negative 3 times 0 is 0, so that would be 0 minus 2. So y equals negative 2, because 0 minus 2 is just negative 2. So I'm going to put that point here. So that's telling me when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. So that gives me the point 0, negative 2. So I'll plot that point right now. Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and erase this. And, well, I'm going to plug in another point. So now, instead of 0, I'm going to go ahead and plug 1 in. So remember, I'm just pulling out the x. It's good for you to rewrite the equation, guys. Okay, and I'm going to put a 1 in there. Great. Now I'll do y equals negative 3 times 1 would give me a negative 3. And I just bring down this minus 2 over here. So negative 3 minus 2 would give me uh, negative 5. If you're confused on that, uh, I'll go ahead and make a video for you guys on how to add and subtract positive and negative integers, because sometimes that can be tricky. And then we'll put negative 5. So this point would be 1, negative 5. Great. OK, and then let's do it again. Let's plug in 2 here. So I'm going to erase this, and we'll go ahead and plug in 2. So I'll take this out. Like I said, it's good to rewrite it. And I'm going to put a 2 there. So now we're told that y is equal to, well, negative 3 times 2 would give me a negative 6. And negative 6, I'll bring down this minus 2 here. So negative 6 minus 2 would actually be giving me y is equal to negative 8. Perfect. So now I'll have y equals negative 8. So I'll put that here, and I'll say that the point is 2, negative 8. Awesome. So these are my three points. So let's go ahead and plot those, and I'll get red so we can see it here. So my first point is 0, negative 2. So when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. So I'm going to put that point right there. Great. Then my next point is uh, when x equals 1, y equals negative 5. So my next point is 1, negative 5. So I Remember, this is my x and y axis. So when we're plotting our points, we go. We start with the x axis, so we go 1, and then we go down negative 5, because it's a negative, so we go down 5 units on the y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our next point would be right here. And then our third point would be 2, negative 8. So I'll go 1, 2 on my x axis, and then I'll go down 8, because it's a negative on my y axis. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my next point would be right around here. Now you'll use graph paper so it will match up a little bit better, um, but we can kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and draw the line. So I want my line to go right through my points. So let's see if we can make that go right through the points. So yours will look a little bit better, but that's kind of the idea of what we're going with. Um, and let's go ahead and draw some arrows here. And that's what our line would be when we're graphing y equals negative 3x minus 2 using the t-table. Like I said, if you get stuck on a test or homework and you don't know how to graph it using slope-intercept form or anything like that, you can always resort to the t-table.